Our new release is iOS 14. Wouldn't it be great if there were a way to organize all of those apps without doing a thing? Well, this year we're doing just that with something called the App Library. So here in App Library, getting to the app I'm looking for is really easy. Up at the top, I have the search field and I get all my apps organized from A to Z. Now over here on the upper left, I have suggestions. It uses on-device intelligence to show me the apps that I'm likely to need next. And on the right is recently added. And below are intelligently curated categories. Next, let's turn to widgets. To start, they're more beautiful and data rich. And we're introducing different sizes, so you can choose one that best fits your needs. So check this out. I'm just gonna tap and hold on the weather widget and I can drag it out of today view and onto my home screen. And watch as I move it around, the apps just dance out of the way to make space for my new widget. The gallery is a great place to explore widgets. Now, when I tap on one, I can actually page through all of the different sizes available. With the smart stack, I can easily swipe through widgets to pick just the one I want for the moment. Next, we're also bringing picture in picture to iPhone. So you can access apps on your iPhone while watching video or talking on a FaceTime call. Now check this out. When I swipe to go home, the video automatically goes into picture in picture right over the home screen. And when I launch another app, like Notes, I can keep watching. Now I can drag the picture to another part of the screen. If I wanna make it bigger, I can even pinch to zoom. And as I move between applications, it stays with me. And what's cool is I can also swipe it to the side and the audio keeps playing when it's off screen. Another iconic experience that's getting a major update is Siri. Siri pops up at the bottom of the screen and instantly launches the app. Or if you ask for information, like the weather, results appear at the top of the screen, just like a notification. Siri's always been great for getting information and now has over 20 times more facts than just three years ago. For more complex questions like, how do hybrid cars work? Or what causes seasons? We recently introduced answers from websites across the internet, enabling Siri to help you find even more answers. This year, you can now ask Siri to send an audio message. We're introducing a new app called Translate. You can translate your text and voice between any combination of these 11 languages. And just turn the phone to landscape to open conversation mode. We've designed a side-by-side -side view that's easy for two people to know which side to follow in the conversation. This mode is incredibly intuitive, with just a single microphone button because the app intelligently detects the language spoken and shows translation on the correct side of the screen. Next up, messages. Let's get started with conversations. So we are introducing a new way to let you stay connected to your most important conversations by letting you pin them at the top of your list so you can always get to them. And you can see messages as they come in with a beautiful animation on the pin. In iOS 14, we're adding even more ways to create your look with over 20 new hair and headwear styles to let you reflect your hobby, profession, and personality. We've also added something that's even more relevant today, face coverings. And we're adding more age options too. And now we have three brand new Memoji stickers that let you send a hug, a fist bump, or even a blush to your friends. Let's chat about groups. First, we're adding inline replies that let you reply directly to a specific message. You can view replies in the full conversation, or you can view them as their own threads. With mentions, you can just type someone's name to direct a message to them. And now you have the ability to only be notified when you're mentioned in the group conversation. We have an all new design for how groups appear. It lets you see all the members of your group where the most recently active people are shown largest. And for the first time ever, you can create a unique visual identity for your group by setting a group photo or customizing your group's look with an emoji. We're excited to announce we're bringing our new map to more countries later this year, including the UK, Ireland, and Canada. We're adding a dedicated cycling option to maps, which allows users to ride their bike along bike lanes, paths, and roads. We'll even let you know if you have a steep passage coming up or if you'll need to carry your bike up the stairs. We're also introducing EV routing. 
With iOS 14, Maps will track your current charge and factor in things like elevation and weather to automatically add charging stops along your route. In addition, drivers in China can securely store their license plate number on their iPhone and Maps will let them know which days they can enter congested city centers based on that number. And now, on to CarPlay. I'm excited to introduce a digital version of Car Keys. Now you can leave your keys at home and unlock and start your car with your iPhone. And the very first car to support this will be the new 2021 BMW 5 Series. An app clip is a small part of an app, so you can quickly get what you need right when you need it. They start with this card, which quickly pops up, and with just a tap, you can launch the app clip. The best way to discover app clips will be with a new Apple-designed app clip code. So when you see one, you'll know that there's an app clip waiting for you. They incorporate both a visual code and NFC, so you tap on them or scan them with the camera to bring up an app clip. And that's iOS 14.